Hey you guys, I'm back. And this video is going to have a trigger warning. We're going to talk about racism. Everything in this video is from my experience and my opinion. That's the disclaimer. Race and phone sex. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. The question of race. I have had callers call me the N-word on a call. The good thing about that is that I can disengage, disconnect, and block them. The freedom that I have in my PSO business is that I can work with whomever I want to, and I can choose to not work with anyone that disrespects me and ignores my boundaries and my consent. There will be callers that will push your limits for their own kink, you know, itch to be scratched. They will. And it's up to you to make the choice of playing along or not. And no judgment, no kink shaming here if you choose to play along. Race play is a kink that many enjoy. What is race play? According to a quote from bearworldmag.com, race play involves interracial sex partners, usually black, brown, and white, who engage in sexual practices that revolve around race, domination, dehumanization, and sometimes impact play or hitting. When on a call, a caller, a good caller, will ask you if you're comfortable with this type of play. They'll look for consent because they do understand that um, it could be very triggering and off-putting. So um, good callers that I've known and I, that I currently have or whatever, um, they have always been the ones to say, hey, I'm interested in this. Are you down? And, you know, depending on whatever the kink or fetish is, you know, the role play is, you give your answer. That's a good caller. They'll ask if you're comfortable with something in any instance. Um, now, many will go for the shock and awe style. And they just want to bombard you with the racist dialogue. I have had callers. I pick up the phone. I say, hey, how are you? And they're just going for it. Inward, inward, inward. Be inward. Suck my da -da 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 inward. Stuff like that. Um, callers like that, I just hang up and I block them. Um, they're going for the shock and awe. They're looking for you to give a real natural reaction. Because quite honestly, as a black woman, if I'm just out in my everyday life, or if I just picked up my home phone and someone started going into me, you know, on me like that, um, it would be very shocking. And it would elicit a response where really I would be ready to cuss them out. And that's what they're looking for. And you may say, oh, well, then go back and forth with them and get your coin. Maybe I don't feel like it that day. <laughs> now, there have been times when I would go back and forth. But to be quite honest, after years of doing this, I'm just not down for it anymore. Don't call me, you know, just outwardly going fanatical and calling me all of these names. Like, hello, you know, consent here. Use your words. Not those words, but use your words. So, again, I don't have to work with anyone I don't want to work with. And if anybody disrespects me, I can happily disengage and block them. Now, some callers are only interested when it comes to race play and being the one who is dominated by the opposite race. So example, a white woman PSO has a black male caller who wants her to dehumanize and dominate him. Now I am a dominatrix, um, you know, online. Um, so you, if someone plays with me, they will see me, but I also play other characters who are um, white women. And um, as a black woman, role playing as a white woman, um, it is it was a bit weird because, you know, I'm a black woman again. <laughs> I have black males in my family, you know, father, husband, uncles, grandfathers, you know, children, all that stuff. It was like, whoa, wait a minute, what? <laughs> you want me to say what? But they are looking at this picture who they are assuming is um, a white woman. So they, um, that's what they're there for. And I don't kink shame. And in the beginning, it was very off-putting because I was like, man, do I want to use these words? <laughs> um, and, you know, do I want to play this scenario? Um, and I have gotten comfortable with it because I've gotten comfortable with discussing my boundaries when I do play in that realm. Um, I do not use um, 
the slurs, you know, the racial slurs. Like I don't use N word. Um, I don't use the C word um, because I've found through the years that I don't have to use those words to elicit a response and to make um, the experience that they are having with um, me exciting and fulfilling. Um, I have, you know, devised ways to um, make sure that I feel comfortable and that I'm providing um, an exciting and fun service um, to my caller. Um, this style of BDSM is about, in my opinion, this is about comfort level. Are you comfortable with this? You know, this type of role play can go to extremes. It's not for the faint of heart. Um, I know in person um, some white um, dominant women who are in the industry online or in person, and they play race play to the extreme. They go deep dirty and rough. <laughs> Some of the things I have seen them either tweet or um, if they have little clips that are on their social media, the things that I've seen them say, <laughs> whoa, are really, really like, yeah, I'm not going there. <laughs> I don't go there, but they have a clientele, a heavy, heavy base clientele of black men who want that or Asian men who want that or um, Arab men who want that, or Hispanic men who want this white woman to totally dehumanize and degrade them, and it gets them off, and that's what they like. No shame here. Do what you do. I just have my own boundaries, and that's where I like to stay. So I don't do any plantation thing with you, you know, role plays like we're not doing any of that. <laughs> I don't do any, you know, um, one person wanted to do some sort of like, I'm chasing you through the African bush. Like, never, <laughs> never are we playing slave catcher over here, honey. Okay, never. Um, but that person asked and I said, no. And you know what he said? Oh, I'm so sorry for bothering you. You have a good day. Boom. <laughs> you know, it. It's, it's, it's not going to be the end of the world. It's not going to stop your bag, okay? Um, I do cam, and I had a caller who, for all intents and purposes, was super vanilla, um, lots of fun. And then one day he wanted to do this, you know, prostitute, white man finds black girl on the corner, rape her. It, you know, he wanted to go really there. And I was like, oh, no, 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 sweetheart. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, he's like, oh, please, please, please. I'll give you X, Y, Z amount of money. No amount of money is going to make me sleep better after I did some sort of weird role play that totally made me uncomfortable, where he called me all kinds of crazy names and stuff like that. But again, I told him no. And you know what? He respected that consent. He respected that consent. And that's the kind of caller you want. That's the kind of client you want. This type of role play can be very triggering for anyone, okay? You are allowed to disengage before or during this type of session. If you're in this session and this person starts to say something that you've already consented to not doing, you can disconnect the line, honey, and hang up. <laughs> you don't have to go there and, and, and be made uncomfortable, okay? Uh, set your boundaries and be firm. Honestly, set your boundaries and be firm. I will say this. Yes, sometimes these, these callers or clients, they pay a lot of money to do this type of thing. Absolutely, they do because they know it's very out of the norm. It can be very triggering. Are you ready to be triggered? Will you be triggered? How harshly are, are you going to be triggered? Is this going to like follow you for the rest of the day? Oh, but you got $1,000 to do it. That's between you and your conscience. For me, the thousand dollars is not worth it knowing that I let somebody degrade me in a way that in real life I wouldn't want. And in a way um, that um, online in my workspace, because this is my workspace, that I would not want. So um, if you choose to play, remember, consent is important. Talk about this before you play. And let's move on. Race fetishism. Racial fetishism involves 
fetishizing a person or culture belonging to a race that is not one's own. Therefore, it involves racial stereotyping, objectifying those bodies who are stereotyped and often their cultural practices. Um, this can include having strong racial preferences in dating. Um, for example, um, Asian women in, um, are considered docile and meek and you know malleable. They can do anything they want to them. To men in North America, you know, look, I'm only saying what is the truth, what we see, and I'm not saying all, but we know. <laughs> we know that Asian women um, are considered the the meeker, the 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 weaker, the you know um, less. I don't want to say violent, but you know they're you, they're not going to talk back. Not the Asian girls I know, not the Filipino women I know. <laughs> <laughs> or the Cambodian women I know, or the Vietnamese women I know, or even the, you know, the um the, the Chinese women I know. My girls don't play that, okay? <laughs> so I don't know no meek and mild tempered Asian girls. I know some girls that'll put you in your place fast, okay? But again, for the purposes of this video, um as the using this as an example, Asian women. And men in North America, North American men, um, they will say, oh, I want me an Asian woman. I can do X, Y, Z with her. You know, one day you're going to wake up and she won't be standing over you with a frying pan, okay? Um, so that's an example. Well, that's Wikipedia's definition of race fetishism. Let's move on. <clears throat> now, this is something to consider. When you are, whether you're a caller, whether you are a, um, or a, a PSO, always ask for consent in a BDSM role play. No one should be fetishized without their consent when it is in the context of BDSM role, or role play. Anyone who ignores non-consent should be removed from the BDSM communities and safe spaces. That's even online. Um, <clears throat> I will let you know that um, there is a night for blacklist <laughs> and um, not all of them. Well, I, I would say most of the folks on there, some who I have worked with and um, felt the same about a few of them from the comments and stuff that I've seen. Um, they don't they don't understand consent. <laughs> they will really try to run you over with whatever they want to do because they feel a um, that they have access to you because you're in this space and they can do whatever they want with you. And you have to think if they're like that with an online person, what are they like in person? You know, with the women in their in their inner circle, our circle, just women in general. Um, sex workers are not here to work at your whim and every need. We just not okay. We have boundaries. We have um, things that we're interested in and not interested in. And just like you, we deserve respect and to have our um, consent rules and our boundaries respected. So that was my take on race play. Very short and sweet and i hope it answers some questions or at least is going to allow you to um be able to play safe and sane and understand that um, you as a sex worker in any form um, whether you do in-person things whether you do camming or um phone sex you have a right to be safe and sane when you play um, you don't have to be anyone's little pet project because they're trying to get off in some weird way. Your boundaries should be respected and, and you should respect the boundaries of the caller. Um, I have had callers only be interested in, you know, maybe they, they want to wear women's clothing, but they're not interested in men. You see the difference? there is a difference. Maybe they want to be dominated. Um, maybe a 
black male caller wants to be dominated by a white woman mistress, but he's not interested in doing any plantation role plays, right? You have to understand that. And the way you can understand it is by asking questions and being safe and sane when you play and also being consensual. I will see you guys in the next video. If you are interested in getting consultations and or doing my full PSO training, please email me at getpaidtotalktomen at gmail.com to get a look at my site and anything else. Please visit getpaidtotalktomen.com. Please subscribe. Please share this. Comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.